Hey everybody, it's Angel's Curse, and welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley. This is episode four, and I have Cage. Hey, what's up? <laughs> you gotta introduce me. Sorry, I forgot to... <laughs> you, you, we've, we've tried this three times, and she, we've messed up three times, and she didn't introduce me to like, I don't know, a while into it. Each time. I know. Oh, that was silly. Anyway, this is episode four, and um, in the last episode, we were just kind of getting started and trying to figure out exactly what we wanted to do in each episode, and episode one and two went up this past weekend, and oh my gosh, you guys gave me lots of comments, and I'm going to give a big major shout out right now to Gabriel on c the, the first episode, because he left a ton of... Wait, Gabriel, Gabriel what? I'm not going to say his last name. I'm sorry. I can't pronounce it. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. Um, Gabriel left a ton of tips for me. And he corrected a lot of, like, my mistakes here. Um, and I will I will talk a lot about them in the episode here. Um, but uh, I wanted to quickly address that uh, one of my big mistakes was that I thought levels were obtained by selling objects. And he let me know that they are not to, uh, gained by selling and but doing, <gasps> yeah. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> but by selling and by doing said skill-related actions. Autumn lied to every one of you. I'm sorry, I was mistaken. A, she lied to you all. Are you are you quite done? For now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I. Uh, yeah, he, he explained a lot of, like, how the levels work, um, that they aren't gained by selling, but by doing said skill, like, foraging is g gathering fruits and stuff like that, and also cutting down trees, and mining is mining, mining and, you know, just, just the basics. Um, and he gave me lots of tips that I really want to go over um, in the episode, and another one of those tips was to watch the television every single morning, no matter what. What does that do for you? Um, he says that uh, you check the TV channels every day for weather reports for the next day and your luck for the day. And sometimes you get cooking recipes from the Queen of Spice, which is a highly desired, which is highly desired once you expand your house. So, okay. So we're going to check for the weather report for tomorrow. Um, it's going to be partially cloudy with a light breeze. Expect lots of pollen. And... What is what is knowing the weather tomorrow do for you? It's gonna let you know like um, whether or not you're gonna need to like what you should account for doing tomorrow. Say like say it was going to rain tomorrow, and then mm -hmm. I already know that I don't need to to water my crops because I'm not going to need to spend that energy doing that. Okay, but what does the weather report you just heard tell you about tomorrow? That I'm still going to need to water my plants. Uh -huh. And um, what are other activities? I'm just gonna need to account for that on my energy re uh, levels. So, okay. Alrighty. Um, and the fortune teller, of course, um, which I explained was a luck chance. Like uh, either you're gonna have good luck, n good luck, neutral luck, bad luck, or really good luck or really bad luck. But um. The spirit, uh, the spirit, the spirits, the spirits are feeling neutral today, so the day is in our hands. And um, also, they give you a tutorial, a little bit called "Living Off the Land," and uh, they give you tips once in a while. This one's, um, they say, check for spring onions southwest of town where the river meets the ocean. You can sometimes find a whole bunch growing right out of the dirt. So, and that's good for selling reasons and also for eating. Uh, do you got anything to say? I was wondering how your crops are doing. Um, my crops need to be watered, obviously. And, um, so we're just gonna go do that. Um, another thing that he reminded me was that, uh, for the grass, um, we do need a silo for that hay. Um, you can only obtain hay by cutting grass once you build a silo and make, and make to build a silo before... A, um, I guess he's trying to say to build a, a silo before a coop and barn, since uh, you need hay to feed the animals that you'll get inside the coop. So okay. Um, sorry, just give good me tip. a tip. Yeah, it's a good tip. It's definitely a good tip. Um, definitely check out that post on the first episode if you're looking for a good amount of tips, especially for late game as well, because um, 
I I learned a lot that I did not even think of. Like, I didn't even I didn't even think of, you know, like I just didn't think of this stuff, which is nuts to me. Like, and I'm in my personal game. I haven't gone through my first year yet, but I have um I have gotten up to fall, and um. I'm I'm pretty excited about where the game is going. Um, what do you got to say, honey? Um, are there going to be like t more tutorials or quests in the game? Like I thought quests are supposed to teach you all this stuff, or is it just because it's in early access? It's just not there yet. Um, I mean I don't know what like what you need to learn. Like, like what do you feel like we're not learning through? Well, the t any tips that that guy gave you. Like, ideally, you'd want that... You'd want to learn that by playing the game. Yeah, and I mean, like, I should have known that. Like, I should... How would should... you have known it? Um, by doing it. And by... Pick pick one tip and talk about it. Okay. Um, he was saying, Fishing isn't a great moneymaker at first, but at level 6, there are, um, there is a significant jump when it comes to legendary fish. Make sure that you are level 10 and eat the fish of the sea for a plus three level boost. By the way, the higher your fishing level, the bigger the green bar, uh, the green catch bar gets. As these guys are quite difficult to catch, not impossible at lower levels though. Okay. Um, and that I would have, I would have known what had I explored the fishing more and, and stuff. Yeah, you like. just learn as you play. So. Yeah, and again, I haven't had the whole like world, like the whole biggest amount of time to play this game. Again, as I said, I'm only in my first year of fall, and I'm about to go into winter, so there's still a lot of stuff that I I just don't know yet. So I appreciate What's that all. What's down there? Um, this is a entrance to the sewer, which is real nasty. Um, it's currently locked for now. And also, Gabriel gave us a tip about that. Um, after we donate 50 things to the museum, um, uh, the uh, the curator of the museum, uh, Gunther, is going to give us a skeleton key. So that'll be that'll be cool. And I will keep what's inside there a secret for now. So, but if you are really that curious, you can go read the comment yourself. So. <laughs> Um, we just picked some spring onions, which is cool. It's cool. Um, right now I'm I'm kind of going around and looking for some mixed seeds because um, I do want to get some more crops and more um, more items and more you know just stuff, just general stuff. Different, more selection of crops. Yeah, more selection of crops. Um, I don't even remember what we're growing right now. Oh yeah, we're growing parsnips, that's right, because I haven't really gone to the shop. I guess I can go to the shop today. Do you think that would be a good idea? idea? What do you need the shop? Um, I'm wondering if we should like start growing more stuff, because we are going to eventually need to start growing uh, more things in our garden for the community center. And also to well, make the some- The plant it, the, you know. Yeah, absolutely. So let's go to Pierre's today. It is a Thursday, so we are they are open, which is good. This is the backpack that you can buy at two thousand um, dollars. I again, I don't have that right now, but um, eventually, um, I'm going to get a good amount of cauliflower seeds. Mm, five, five of those. Don't forget to get like an energy thing too. I'm gonna eat the spring onions today. Okay. Um, we'll sell those. Um, potatoes are going to take a long, uh, actually cauliflowers take the longest, so, and beans take the second longest, so let's take, let's get, let's get five of those as well. Forget the mixed seeds, we're just going to, we're going to just throw those away. Um, and then... How do mixed seeds work? Like, what, what happens when you plant those? Um, is I it have, random? It's random, yeah. It's a random crop. Um, you can get pretty much anything, um, anything that grows in that season. Like, uh, you can get potatoes, you can get cauliflowers, you can get parsnips, you can get, um, green beans. Um, pretty much anything. So, um. Did you sell them? Yeah, I did. But, okay. I mean, we, we can, we can get more. It shouldn't be too, too difficult. 
I just sold my fibers. Um, ooh, excuse me. Um, I'm gonna just get rid of this giant patch of grass right here. Yeah, it's an eyesore. Well, it's not even that, it's just that it's in my way. And you're gonna have to farm there. Yeah, I wanna put my farm in this area right here. So, I'm just gonna clear it out a little bit. Um, what do you think of the game so far, honey? Do you, do you think it's cool? Do you like it? It's pretty cool, you know. Um, I don't know if you've watched anybody else play it. No. Nah. Aww. You don't like it? It's alright. I'm, you know, I enjoy watching you play it. Yeah. Three, four, five. Oop, dang it. Fun fact, if you ever did uh, mess up like this, you can always use your pickaxe and just bring it back to where you can just dig it back up, so. Are you going to keep all your crops separate then? Like, yeah, I'm going to- Are you going to start doing rows? Yeah, I am. Um, once these parsnips grow, um, then we'll we'll uh, start just rearranging. You so. got the middle part, yeah. Yeah. Um, Alright. So that should be good for now. Let's just put them- What's the morale on that hoe? Baby. What? <laughs> Baby. Kid friendly. I'll, I'll bet you my hoe's better in Seven Days to Die. Hey, whoa, watch your language. All I'm right. Just saying. I know. I know you are. Um, watering, watering, watering. La 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 la. Um. You need to get one of those sprinkler things that do it for you. I know. I need to. Well, we again. We're only on day four, so there's not a lot we can do today or um yeah not a lot did anyone see what that broken down building was i don't ruined? i didn't see it i didn't see anything about that if you guys haven't like please let me know that or i will check the wiki before we start next episode because it's gonna bother me um also what's in that cave up there i told you um you uh eventually um demetrius is gonna come to our house and mm -hmm. say, hey, I want to do a science experiment. I want to either put bats in here or I want to put mushrooms and see what grows. So you have a choice between exotic fruit or you have ex a choice between exotic mushrooms. So... What do mushrooms do for you? Well, mushrooms are for the community center. Oh. The, they're both things for the community center. Um, Can't you dig up that stump? Uh, no, I cannot. Not right now. Because I don't but have... But you can eventually. Yes. I will eventually. Um, let's see here. Oh, can I make... Can I make stone... Oh, no, I can't make stone fence... Stone fencing yet, because... Ugh. I hate... I hate the wood make fencing. Make wood, baby. No. I hate it. I baby. hate it. Why do you hate it? Because it sucks. It's... Oh, it's terrible. Cage, it is terrible. It's terrible. It's just terrible. It's terrible. Just terrible. Um, do you think we should go fishing today? After we clear out the rest of this space? It's your let's play, baby. You can go wherever you want. I know, but I just... I want to ask for your input, too. I could go for some fishing. See, the thing is, you gotta fish, and you don't want to fish... You don't want a whole day of just fishing, because that would make me want to slit my wrists. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, well, I'm just saying, like... I know. Fishing a little bit here and there is probably the way to go. Yeah. Those spring you, should to, you should be able to bring out a lawn chair out there and like fish in the lawn chair. Yeah, that'd be that'd be nice. Oh, I hate it when like I lose like where my fingers are placed on the keyboard and I yeah, start going yeah. like all over the place. That's why Cage looked a little drunk there for a minute. So it's very uh, it's that that keyboard's very difficult to learn. Yeah, I mean like it's a it's a nice keyboard though. It is. It's heavy. Um, also, um, Gabriel gave another fun fact. Only, only take your geodes to the blacksmith on days where you are showered with luck. Since this is, this greatly increase, it increases your chance for rare gems slash ores. Save all your iridium ores. So, we have to do that. Cause Gabriel's He's just a time. fountain of useful information. He really is. And I really appreciate, like. You bet you don't know how to say his last name. I'm sorry, Gabriel. I'm sorry I cannot say your last name. It's 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 a crazy last name, guys. 
and you know like i i i do i i work for triple a um and i have to i have to say names all day literally all day and but you're good at that though sometimes i'm not sometimes i'm not and i i just i have a better way of like not a better way but like i have good luck when it comes to like trying to pronounce things because i i like languages i really do i like languages they're very very interesting to me um actually like i have an app on my phone right now and it's called duolingo and i was actually learning to speak dutch for a little bit and i'm never ever going to speak dutch but you never know so plus a lot of our friends are dutch so um by the way we just uh you got coral 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 <laughs> If you guys... Coral, your eye! Coral! Cage, that's a spoiler. What? They don't know what, what about it. Maybe he had a eyelash in his eye. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dad, I got something in my eye. Coral! Coral! Get it out of your eye, Coral! Um, we're talking about The Walking Dead right now, if you if you don't know. um, But I... Uh, Me? Me? <laughs> You're making me laugh. Stop. Um, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, we're, wa we're we're watching The Walking Dead, obviously, and um, I, usually when Rick yells Carl, he always ends up saying it like Carl, and it's just <laughs> it just every time it makes me think he's saying Coral instead of Carl. Like Coral. Cor like the stuff you were like, picking up off the beach. Like Coral. And it just, oh, every time it cracks me up. So we were at our good buddies Scott and Mike's house, and I brought this up, and they were cracking up. Everybody was cracking up, because they, they were like... They to go over this weekend, by the way. Can we? Unless you might not. Okay. I just wondered if it was going to fit into your schedule. Well, I mean, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to, like... We're probably going to have to record seven days a day on Sunday, but... That's... I'd prefer that. I don't, because then I won't be able to stream, but it's okay. But you can stream Saturday. No, I can't. I'm going to be at Scott's. Oh. Until how late? Well, I mean, I can stream at night, but I can't, like, stream extra. Eh. Can you tell the kind of fish you're, you're going for as you're trying to catch it? I'm not paying attention. Do they all look the same, or...? Yeah, they all look the same. Um, the only difference between, like, fishes is whether or not you're going to catch a legendary. Because if, uh, if you do catch a legendary, um, it will have a little crown on its head. Um, it will... A fish crown? Yeah, it'll have, it, the fish will have a little crown on it. And I've caught one before, and it was the, the easiest to catch, which is the angler fish. And I'm upset because I thought it was something super special. Everyone's like, big deal. Yeah, big deal. Ugh. Gabriel's like, whatever, bro. I, I, I caught that for the day one. <laughs> Do you even fish, bro? You can't even get the fishing rod on day one. So <laughs> I can. I'm Gabriel. We're sorry, Gabriel. Ignore Cage. You can punch him if you want to. Why? Punch I'm him. saying he's like great at this game. Why? Punch him in the comments here. Maybe he's the developer. He's not the <laughs> He might be. You don't know. Gabriel, if you're... If you are the developer, that's cool. <laughs> that's, we love your game, bro. Love your game, man. How do you say your last name? <laughs> um, how much time are we? How, do we have left? Four and a half minutes. That's pretty good. Yeah, Dude. we're doing good. Yeah. yeah. Fishing like a boss. I already named oh. an episode "Fishing Like a Boss." Now I don't know what the hell I'm gonna name the episodes where you're fishing. Fishing even more like a boss. No, we're probably going to call it, like, planting new crops or something like that. Mixed seeds. Mixed seeds. That's a good name. Um, what was I going to say to you? Oh, 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 oh. Um, he also gave me another tip. Um, I was wrong about what time your character passes out if you stay out too late. 
apparently the latest your character can stay out is two o'clock in the morning. And um, as Will you I ever stop lying to your fans, I don't. I don't lie. I mess up. I'm. Mm -hmm. I love that one guy who's like, I would watch. I think this would be better without Cage. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> He doesn't like me. Aww. He's like, shut up, Cage. Mute your mic, jerk. Shut up, you face. Shut up, you face. Shut up, you hey. face. Hey, whoa, hey. Hey, whoa, no ziti. Whoa. <laughs> I cleaned it up. I'm proud of you. I'm proud. The actual saying is no effing ziti. No effing ziti. It's from The Sopranos. Mm-hmm. We enjoyed that when we watched the first few seasons. Yeah, it fell off after the second season. Yeah. Yeah, it did. I'm excited for next episode because the mine's gonna open up in the morning, and I'm so Yay! I'm so excited. Cause are we gonna go down there and fight stuff? Yes, we are. Is oh, it gonna be like a seven day horde? It can be. Can you get a crossbow? You can get a slingshot. Ugh, give me a break. I actually what is hate Goonies. <laughs> you ever play the Goonies arcade game? No, no I didn't. Because you weren't alive. No, I was yeah. not. <laughs> Actually, well, I don't know why I thought Goonies. It's more like Dennis the Menace. I've actually watched Dennis the Menace. Like uh, Goonies, people... the Goonies had a um, had a yo-yo. They had a yo-yo in the game. That's how they knocked out the Fratellis. Oh, okay. Hmm. Let me see here. I'm just going through my inventory here and seeing what I can sell. Oh, someone said your inventory management could be as bad as mine. Though. It's it's it can be pretty bad. You're you're being judged. Remember that. It's okay. I I can take the judgment. You can end this one now. Yeah, we're gonna go to bed. So we're gonna end it off for the night, and we leveled up in our foraging. Yay! What was? Uh, we got efficiency hype. Hype, and we also got a new recipe, which is the survival burger. Survival burger hype. Hype. And uh, let's see how much money I made. We made $200. That's pathetic. Yes, it is. You're never going to get the back the backpack like that. I know. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to end off here. Um, and in the next episode, we will go into the mine. I'm so excited. It's so dun, hype. Dun, dun. Dum, dum, dum. So much hype. Anyway, that's going to be it for episode four. And until next time. Take it easy. Bye, everybody.